Shakalaka and everybody, your boy Bongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. As you guys can tell, I am in the ever so famous Toronto kitchen that belongs to my main man D's design behind the camera. Here, before we get today's video started, I have to give a huge shout out to Quid, my partners on today's video. Quid is a cool, easy way to collect stickers on your iPhone and that will allow you guys to text your friends some of your favorite characters from some of your favorite shows. If we take a look at the Explorer page, you guys can take a look at a number of different shows that you guys might be interested in. Some of my favorites, for example, are like Bob's Burgers or Family Guy. So let's go ahead and open up the Family Guy one. Once you guys pick your favorite show, then you'll be able to pick your favorite sticker pack. Each pack has its own separate set of stickers so the more packs you open the more stickers you can get as well guys what you can do is add me as a friend on quid what that will allow you to do is get you more coins so that you can open up more packs and if you guys follow me on snapchat you would have seen me wearing my exclusive here hat if you guys add me as a friend on quid your name will be automatically entered into a draw to win one of these exclusive here hats not only do you get the chance to win a here hat you also get way more coins if you add me as a friend so make Make sure you guys go ahead, download the app, add me as a friend if you guys want one of these hats and a bunch of stickers to share with your friends. Now, without further ado, let's get into this DIY. As you guys can tell by the title, today we are attempting to do a DIY giant Big Mac. This is something that I kind of tried in the past. If you guys click up here, you will see my cheeseburger video. But today we're going to double up. We're going to make two big patties. And guys, shout out to McDonald's because in Canada they released exclusive Big Mac sauces in the bottle. We no longer have to go and like squeeze little packets out. We got the bottle. I mean, does this stuff even taste like Big Mac sauce? I haven't even tasted it. Bro, that's Big Mac sauce. I mean, I I guess it does say Big Mac sauce on it, but hey, now we're 100%. This stuff's good. So we're gonna be making not one, but two duck tea patties. We got our bread in the background. We have our toppings. We got our lettuce, our onions, our pickles. We got a bunch of sesame seeds that we're gonna be putting on the top of the bun to give it that iconic Big Mac vibe. And of course, when all of this is done, we are gonna be tasting this DIY giant Big Mac. And something I haven't told DJ yet, but he's gonna have to finish the burger before the end of the video. Or, um, I thought we agreed that you're gonna finish the burger. I First things first guys, we are gonna get our patty meat ready. So for our patty meat, I got a lot of ground beef. So what we're gonna be doing, grabbing our bowl. We're gonna open up our beef. <laughs> Continue doing that until all the beef is in the bowl. In addition to my ground beef, I'm gonna be adding some breadcrumbs. So guys, I'm just gonna put enough breadcrumbs to slightly cover the ground beef here, 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 here. And that should be enough. We're gonna be hitting it with a nice one-two shake and bake with some salt on. We're gonna hit it with a one-two pepper on. Here, 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 here. And guys, don't be shy with the pepper. The pepper's gonna give it a little extra taste and you guys want that taste in your burger. So here's the pepper. And I found some paprika in DJ's cabinet so I said, why not? Here. Oh. No, 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 no. DIY, DIY paprika, paprika infused. <laughs> All right, so once your dry ingredients and your meat are all put into a bowl, what you guys want to do is first off, pick the jewels up. Oh, by the way, speaking of jewels, guys, lion with the diamonds in the eye. Guys, we're up to the jewels game. We got two rings now. We got the watch. Last time I didn't take the bracelet off and I kind of got chirped. This time I'm taking the bracelet off. All right, guys, so what you guys want to do is roll up your sleeves and start mixing in this, uh, uh, so what you guys want to do is get nice and dirty in here start mixing up the ground beef with the breadcrumbs with all that fun stuff Essentially what you guys want to do is you want to start forming some patties here here Keep mixing that guy until your patties are all nice and mixed and your dry ingredients is all mixed in with the mitas All right guys, so once you have mixed in your dry ingredients What you guys are gonna see is one big old ball of meat Essentially what we want to do guys is now we want to form the patty We're gonna take half the amount of meat that we have you guys want to put it into the patty tray, press it down ever so gently like so. Here, you want an even layer all over the patty. Again, guys, with our Big Mac, we have our one patty, so it's time to make another one. Start pressing it around. You guys want two identical patties. Okay, guys, so we have our two patties. We are about to put these guys in the oven. We've preheated our oven to 400. Organization and efficiency, don't ever play yourself. First one, and guys, try to stagger your two burgers. 
burner so that the heat in the oven can flow evenly. Now, we're gonna get ready with our toppings. So that way, when our burgers are ready, we are ready to assemble our DIY giant Big Mac. A McDonald's Big Mac doesn't have much toppings. It really all comes down to the major pea sauce. Aside from that, they use lettuce, chopped onions, and circle pickles. So, I already got my circle pickles. Guys, shout out to Bix. These guys make the most delicious pickles. But, I got my iceberg lettuce, and I got my knife. So, first things first, we're gonna cut this guy open like so here. Chop your iceberg lettuce in half, and then thin, thin slices. You know how McDonald's lettuce is, guys. It's super thin. Here, here, here. And boom, once that guy is done, you can take it all and put it on the side like this. I have a little plate where I'm going to be putting my toppings on. Next up, guys, is your onion. Again, take the top end off, take the bottom end off. What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to cut it down here. Okay, cool. And then what I want to do, guys, is finely chop this guy into little chopped squares. Exactly how McDonald's does it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these guys to the side and cut them this way. And what that's going to allow me to do is I'm going to yield some little onion chops just like how McDonald's does them. And boom. There we go. There's our onion. So those guys can go on the plate. Our nice little chopped onion. Guys, come to think of it, when I was a kid, I used to think that there were so many toppings on a Big Mac. But I swear, it wasn't until I got a little bit older that I realized it's all about the sauce, all right? A little bit of lettuce, a little bit of onion, some filler pickles. But that sauce is what's going to give it its real Big Mac vibe. Now, the next step is to get our iconic Big Mac bun. So what I've done is I went and got three of the biggest loaves of bread that I could find. Each one looks like this. Though. So we're gonna have to aesthetically fix some of the top ones. I'm gonna wipe off some of this dust that's on this flour. I'm gonna cover it with a little bit of oil. And I got my iconic sesame seeds that go on the top bun of your Big Mac. So let's transform these three big buns into our Big Mac bun. Let's get it. Okay guys, so I've taken out my three buns. Realistically, I gotta pick the nicest one to go on top. So it's a tie between this one and this one. I mean, this one might have to win the race because there is so much flour on this one. This one's not gonna cut it. This one can be cleaned up. We can get this one prepared. So we're gonna put these two guys on the sides. We're gonna start working on our top bun. To give it that vibe, what we're gonna be doing is first things first, I'm gonna cut off a very thin layer from the bottom of this bun. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow it to give it that real bun vibe from the bottom of the top side. We don't want this hard side. We want a nice bun on the interior. So we're going to cut this bottom part off. We have taken the bottom off. This guy can go to the side. So what I've done is I put a little bit of olive oil into a bowl and I have my paint brush. So I hope that this oil on this brush is going to get rid of some of that color. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to give that guy a one, two scrub here, here, here. And make sure guys get everywhere because this is also going to be used as an adhesive for our sesame seeds. So don't be shy. Oil up that bun give it that nice bun up look we have our top oil what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack open these sesame seeds I'm gonna grab some sesame seeds and we're gonna see how this works oh yeah baby that's so bad sesame seed bad oh true 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 <laughs> I'm making a mess. <laughs> We're just gonna continue going around the side with the sesame seeds here to give it that sesame seed vibe. As you guys can see, it is nice and stuck on. We have our top bun to our DIY giant Big Mac. What we wanna do is we wanna work with our other buns, all right? So we're actually just gonna cut a little bit of the top of this bun. So we're just gonna go in a circular fashion like this. So last time we took a little bit off the bottom. This time we're taking a little bit off the top. Cut this guy around and Boom. Now, this is gonna serve as our middle bun in our DIY Giant Big Mac. And finally, for the bottom portion, what we're gonna do, very similar to what we did last time, except this time we're gonna try to keep as much as the bottom portion as possible. So realistically, we're just gonna go nice and smooth on the top here, just taking a very thin layer from the top away. Here, 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 here. And then boom, we're gonna pull that guy off. And this is gonna serve as our bottom bun to our DIY Giant Big Mac. All right, guys, so we have prepared everything Everything for our DIY giant Big Mac. Our hands are no longer gonna get dirty, so it's time to put the jewels back on me. Put the ring up, put the fly up. All right, so we are ready to take the burgers out from the oven. They should all be done. So here we go. Ooh, yeah, they're ready. So we're gonna grab this guy. Ooh, look at that first 
patty Oz. Okay, carefully. Come on. Out of the oven Oz here. So now we have our two patties. We are ready to start assembling this DIY giant Big Mac. As the story goes, they start with the bottom one. Then they take some sauce. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just not gonna be shy here. We're gonna put a lot here. of the Big Mac here. sauce here. Spread that guy out. Boom. Once the sauce is on, then they put half of their onions on the bottom bun. So I'm gonna take half of my onions and I'm gonna sprinkle them all over my DIY giant Big Mac. Here, there's half my onions. Now they take half of their lettuce and then they put half of the lettuce on their Big Mac here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cheese, guys. Apparently the list of ingredients says that the cheese goes on next. Preferably I put my cheese on the burger, guys. Comment down below if you like your cheese on the patty first or you like it on the bun first. I'm more of a patty type of guy. But no arguing here. We're trying to mimic the real Big Mac. So guys, I'm gonna go around my bun. I'm gonna put my processed cheese looking ass all over the burger. Another one. You guys wanna continue doing that until your entire bun is covered in cheese. Last piece of cheese here. Now, it is time to put a patty on this guy. Now, we're gonna take a fork, guys. We're gonna take this big dutty patty carefully. Boom. Into the Big Mac it goes. Perfect. Now, once you have the first patty in your burger, the next step is to put that middle bun in the burger. So boom, there we go. There's our middle bun. We repeat the same process, guys. Some more sauce here. If one isn't enough, you always get another one. And this time, guys, we're just gonna go ham here, 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 here. Again, guys, you go with a little bit of onion on the bottom, right with the sauce here. Then, guys, you wanna take your lettuce and you guys wanna put the rest of your lettuce on the side of the Big Mac here and just dump it in like so here. Now, guys, what you wanna do is you wanna take your jar of pickles here. Guys, McDonald's uses circle pickles, so don't ever play yourself. I got some circle pickles here. I'm gonna go around my burger. Boy, they don't go that hard. Yeah, they only give you three pickles. Yeah. But your boy Bongo's an extravagant man, so I'm gonna put bare pickles on my burger here. <laughs> yo, 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 there's jokes? What kind of circles is this? Little known fact, DJ hates pickles and onions, so he'll have a blast eating this Big Mac. <laughs> all right, so we are almost ready. I think all we need to do now is put the last burger and the top bun. So here goes nothing, guys. We want to take our last baddie. <laughs> baddie. Nah. Okay, so guys, we want to take our last patty. Be very careful again. This is the make it or break it point. Grab your patty. Boom, onto the Big Mac, here. Now, we take the sesame bun, all right? We put it on top, and boom, DIY giant Big Mac, baby. Let's get this money, boy. Woo, Alrighty, guys, so there we have it, a DIY giant Big Mac, guys. Take it in, we got the sesame bun, we got the patty, the pickles, the onions, the lettuce, obviously the Big Mac sauce. We got the big guns for this video. Now, it is everybody's favorite time. It is time to taste test this baby. And honestly, I don't even know what to expect. I don't even know how I'm gonna approach this, but here goes nothing. I take this big duck tea burger. First of all, this burger is like how heavy is that? Like 30 pounds. Stop, stop. Bro, try to hold this. No, no, no. Bro, bro. Can't hold it with one hand <laughs> unless you jack like me. Alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Got some mm, get a pickle. Mm, that's a Big Mac. <laughs> that's as close as you're gonna get to a Big Mac. Wow, this is fantastic. Do you realize you have shit all over your face? Probably. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a blast making my DIY giant Big Mac. If you guys enjoyed this video, please head down to the thumbs up button, smash that thumbs up button. I gotta give a huge shout out to the main man behind the camera today. Everybody make sure you go check out DJ's channel. I will leave a link to his channel at the very top of my description, guys. YouTube.com slash DJ. Hey, check out the man. Don't ever play yourself. Leave a comment of your favorite food that you guys would like to see me make a giant version of. And hey, your idea might make it on the channel. Again, guys, I gotta give a huge shout out to my partners on this video. Quid, make sure you guys go download that app. Make sure you guys add me as a friend. It'll automatically enter you guys in a draw to win this here hat. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, take it easy. It's fun easy.